So uh, good afternoon. Again, my name is Natasha Gray. I, um, I am currently working with the Down the Marsh Community Land Trust as the Community Engagement Coordinator. And I know my role is in the bio, but really I engage with the current and former residents of Truro and provide guidance to the transitional board. And this afternoon, I'm joining you from Mi'kmaq. So we're in the ancestral and unceded land of the Mi'kmaq people. And I also recognize that uh, we African Nova Scotians are a distinct people whose histories, legacies, and contributions have enriched uh, the part of Mi'kmaq that's known as Nova Scotia, and we've been here for over 400 years. So thank you, Troll, for uh, thank you, Curtis, for providing that context of the history. Uh, I knew that when I joined this today, I was going to learn some new things myself. So Down the Marsh Community Land Trust is based in Truro, Nova Scotia. And as you can see, Truro is considered the hub of Nova Scotia based upon its central location in the province. So the African Nova Scotian presence in Truro dates back to the first settlement by Black loyalists in the 18th century. Truro has three historic Black communities still known today as the island, the hill, and the marsh. The marsh was a thriving and vibrant Black community where residents and families owned their own homes and properties. The community lived in an intimate relationship with Mother Nature and the prominent river that ran through. While they faced seasonal flooding, their resourcefulness, resiliency, and adaptability enabled them to overcome challenges. Main, mainstream technological advances in water management increased the desirability of the marsh to outside developers and they began to crowd the area, <clears throat> excuse me. Their developments put stress on the ecology and displaced challenges onto residents of the March who were not financially able to absorb the associated costs. This hardship compounded with systemic racism, environmental racism, and discrimination made it difficult for the residents to cope and stay in place. Consequently, residents face disposition of land and housing loss of home, community displacement, and erasure. So this project aims to establish a Black-led community land trust for African Nova Scotians and other families who have been pushed to the margins through systemic racism, discrimination, gentrification, and the economics of inequality. The community land trust will both in process and in product claim reparations in the form of land, property, community building, and intergenerational wealth. And the marsh is the first site of the proposed community land trust. So down the marsh community land trust was incorporated in June of 2022, and we'll begin with the acquisition of six properties currently located on Ford and Cross Street in Truro. This area is historically known as the black community called the marsh. The zoning regulations of Truro allow for anywhere from eight units on those six properties that you see in front of you, up to 38 units of affordable rentals and or a combination of the affordable rentals and affordable home ownership. That information will be determined by the board going forward. So the mission of the Down the Marsh Community Land Trust is to create thriving African Nova Scotian communities by developing collectively loan collectively owned land assets. And their vision is housing and community assets for building wellness, wealth, and wholeness for African Nova Scotians. And they work under the following guiding principles, is their recognition of African Nova Scotians as a distinct people. They will work with an Afrocentric lens, which means they will promote the cultural, social, and historical contributions of African Nova Scotians and the recognition of the ongoing legacy of anti-Black racism. Collaboration, they will collaborate with key stakeholders to ensure that they implement a community-led solution. They will always focus on sustainability and they will always work with integrity. In housing, uh, Nova Scotia has an action plan data from 2019 to 2022, and that states that housing is more than a building safe, affordable, and appropriate housing is the foundation of our communities. When Nova Scotians housing needs are met, they are healthier, happier, and more productive. And this benefits the individual and the province overall. Our communities and economy are strengthened when everyone has a place to call home. 
So this project is well aligned with housing Nova Scotia's objective to improve housing outcomes for racialized and marginalized communities. And one of the goals of this community land trust is that it will directly benefit past and present African Nova Scotian families from Truro, the Colchester County area, and other parts of Nova Scotia through the security of tenure, affordable housing rental, and ownership, and intergenerational inheritance opportunities. Down the Marsh Community Land Trust is comprised of a transitional board of African Nova Scotian community members from Truro, the broader African Nova Scotian and Black communities and others. These are our decision makers and they govern the Community Land Trust startup. We also have an advisory group and this group is composed of practitioners and reparations affordable housing, community land trust, and community development. They provide advice to the transitional board and offer technical support and subject matter expert advice during the community land trust startup. Both the transitional board and the advisory group meet on a monthly basis. We also have three subcommittees that have been established to manage their media and ongoing needs of the trust startup. They meet separately from the board and the advisory group, and they bring back their recommendations to the board for approval before moving forward. So we currently have a project development committee, a human resource committee, and a finance committee. And also when it comes to supporting the work of the land trust, we have two master of planning students from Dalhousie University that volunteer their time to work with uh, the trust as well. So they would bring any planning or associated information that the trust would require. So as of right now, we have um, three people that are currently working with the trust. So we have myself as the community engagement consulting. And as I spoke before, I was contracted to lead that community engagement piece. And we also have an operational development consultant. So she completes all the appropriate research related to community land trust and advises the board on the operational and strategic planning, including the development of the bylaws. And she is also working on a business plan for the trust going forward. And we have an administrative coordinator who also provides that administra administrative support to the trust as needed. So as we know, um, community land trusts are controlled by the community. And our focus is we have, we have hosted two in-person community engagement sessions so far. And we have our third engagement session scheduled for the 27th of February. And the goal of these sessions are to really share the background and the foundation of what a community land trust is. We talk about uh, what affordable housing means to the residents in Truro. And of course, we know Truro has very, Truro's less than uh, Halifax, actually, when it comes to uh, vacancy rates, and really what that impact has on the community. So we aim to gather as much feedback and first voice perspectives as possible for all those community members. And we've also, we're also collecting information in the form of a community survey that has gone out to every member of the community that we could think of um, to collect the information because we're trying to develop a community profile and the demographics really of what our community looks like. And all this information will be used to inform the strategic planning and the business plan of the trust. And that's it for me, thank you. And we have a email set up, which is dtmcommunityengagement at gmail.com if anyone wanted to reach out to us.